Hey there. So I wanted to make a video about uh, making my fire pot for my new forge. Um, there's a few videos out there on uh, on making a fire pot, but uh, I don't know. I couldn't really find anything in depth about uh, installing the clinker breaker if you wanted how to do it so I'm just kinda winging it here and I've got uh, I got these plans for for the size of the pot jeez uh, I can't even remember the guys channel uh, it's on YouTube anyways and I just traced them out under here what is that a uh, 12 inch by 10 inch fire pot so that's my 12 inch side and my 10 inch side and there's that 5 and an eighth by 3 inch this one is uh, on the 10 inch side this one is three and a half inches and for some reason they made it for uh, this length here to be a little bit longer which extends out the bottom a little bit not too sure why they called for that but it is what it is and so my take on the clinker breaker um, I didn't want to install the screen because I have a screen on my other one over here <coughs> and I really don't like digging out the clinkers it's not fun and then the holes get plugged up you can see so every time you gotta you gotta take it up clean it out and punch all those out get all your clinkers out so I wanted to try the clinker breaker so what I've done was, this is the only steel, this is all scrap steel too by the way, I can't afford my own. I cut, uh, I cut the fire pot out of my old fireplace, just torched out, uh, pushed out uh, the pattern on the side there. But anyways, back to uh, this clinker breaker, um, I drilled and tapped the hole in the sides so that when uh, this is going to sit on top of this pipe, which I just cut. It's a little hot. And then, uh, I, I've yet to clean it up, but I just cut it. And it's freaking hot. Of course, uh, because that's going to be a little difficult to install once I weld this onto the bottom, I'm going to drill some holes and to the side here where approximately where it's going to sit so then I can thread in my half inch rod through the side just drop it in and thread it in because that's the only way I can think about getting it in there and that'll sit on there like so I wish this was a little bit longer but that's all I can fine for scrap. I'm sure I can fix it up later if I so desire. So yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to work. I hope so. Because I'm looking forward to using this. I, I really don't... I, I mean, I like this. It was given to me. It was a nice gift. And uh, it's it's been a good introductory to blacksmithing. I really enjoy it. I have lots of fun doing it. I've set up my uh, my little area here for for doing my blacksmith work because my wood workshop isn't really a good idea to be burning steel in there. So yeah, I'm not too. I mean, the only thing with this one is that uh, you know every time you got to fuel the fire, it comes in off the side and it. It buries in, and then you got to pile up more on the side, and, and get a mound at the top. And it's uh, you can't, you can only get a certain length of steel in there to 
to heat up basically just ends really so I want to make a new one and that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna see if this clinker breaker uh, installation here works I'm gonna get back to you as soon as I get this all fixed up I've got a little bit of grinding to do to get it to sit flush and uh, tweak it a little bit and then uh, see if I can get that inside there yeah I'll get back to you All right, just an update on uh, where what I'm doing here uh, this is gonna sit onto the pot and then uh, I'll weld that on but in order to get the clinker breaker in there I drilled and tapped like I said there and I've got some half inch rod that I'm uh, just threading the ends right now and let's see so of course it'll slide in here after this is welded to the pot and then I can thread into yeah, kind of hard one handed alright and that will sit inside there hopefully I drilled the holes at the right height so once I weld that on it should sit flush with the bottom of the fire pot maybe up just a little bit which is kind of what uh, I was hoping for but we'll see what happens I'll tap that or sorry get this threaded here and uh, finish that up we'll get back to you alright so I've got the pipe welded to the bottom of the fire pot now four inch square tube sorry and hopefully you can see this can't see if I got the camera set up right but uh, this will be my tweeter with another bar coming out the other side and then you can uh, turn the tweeter uh, the clinker breaker sorry so it seems to have worked out I guess gonna have to give it a Give it a whirl though, but still, still some work to be done. I gotta weld some uh, little tabs on the side so it can slide into uh, slide into a plate. And I'm not too sure where I'm gonna get it from. I might just uh, hack that up and weld up a bunch of pieces and make a table out of that. I guess. Seeing how this is all scrap, a scrap make anyways, the whole thing is made of scrap, this uh, forge, so I guess I'll continue on with uh, <laughs> scrounging for metal. Alright, I'll, uh, uh, when it's all put together, I guess I'll, uh, oh yeah, I forgot, I've got to, um, I've got to weld in uh, my 3 inch pipe for air intake into here. Yeah, this is really short. I don't like how short that is, but that's all I got, like I said. I, I'll get back to you when it's all put together. Hey, okay, before I got ahead of myself here, I uh, cut up my fireplace, <laughs> the old one, of course, and came up with these two pieces, which I then cut out for my fire pot 
which I can't remember exactly what I had on my last video, but I've got uh, that welded up, my air intake, my 4-inch pipe, which I'm not very happy about the length, but and of course that's going to fit right in there. Um, and I'm going to weld these onto onto the sides here to, of course, prevent it from falling through. And then it sits uh, sits nice and flush. So that's where I'm at. Weld this all up and get back to you. All right, here it is, my hack job. It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty ragged looking. Mind you, it's all recycled parts, all stuff I found in the trash for garbage. And I turned it into a little forge. And there's the clinker breaker. I put it on some little bungees there because I didn't want it to spin all the way. That's enough to break up clinkers. I like it. And I just got to mount the fan underneath. And I'm not too sure. I've got uh, this old hand crank here. And it uh, seems to work, so I might just use that instead of the electric fan. Or I'll mount the electric. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But either way, I've got air for my forge. And maybe I'll uh, I'll get some video of it uh, with it up and going, which will have to be tomorrow because it's a little too late to be pounding steel. I don't think the neighbors will appreciate that. All right, I'll get back to you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Got it all welded up. It's all done. I attached my hand crank but I don't like it because it's old and the bearings are shot inside so it's really hard to turn but uh, here it is I definitely need to put some walls up on the side So I'm definitely going to hook up my electric fan back up. So i got to put a brace across there and get it mounted up somehow. But uh, yeah, I'm going uh, to hammer some steel. Alright, thanks for watching. So just a quick update. I, uh, after using it for a little bit, I decided to put up some sidewalls so all the coal doesn't uh, fall off the edges and it actually works really good. You can pile it up on the sides and, and uh, yeah, it works good. doesn't fall off the edge. I installed the uh, electric fan on there. So that's my final forge. Looks good. I like it. Works great. Really happy with it. Alright. Fortunately, today is very ugly day out, pissing down rain, so no forging today, but that's it, my portable forge.